all right welcome back guys uh first of all i just want to thank the uh 12 people that actually subscribe to this channel it really means a lot to me and i'm gonna keep trying to pump out the best content i can for you guys uh today we're gonna go ahead and set up the broadling universal tv remote and we're gonna integrate it into home assistant first thing you want to do and i'm assuming you've probably already done this which means you're gonna have to go ahead and undo your hard work but you're gonna get the broadlink universal app and you're gonna open it up and if you've already done all this you're gonna go ahead and factory reset your broadlink because all you're gonna want to do is connect to your Wi-Fi and then close the app don't connect to the cloud don't add any commands don't add any appliances next step you're gonna go ahead and this should look familiar if you've seen any of my other videos you're either going to access your router gateway or you're going to go ahead and access your access point. I'm in my access point and you're going to find your Broadlink device. I've got the RM4 Pro. The IP is 10.0.0.13. Let's write that down. Keep it in mind. Copy it. Whatever you need to do. Next, we're going to go to our home assistant setup. We're going to go to configuration, integrations, and we're going to add one. Broadlink. Now, let's hit that IP we just found. And you're going to get some Chinese letters here, but name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name it good old Broadlink. Okay, so obviously just using the app and learning commands and putting it in Home Assistant would be way too easy. So we're going to go ahead and get a middleman. We're going to get the Broadlink Manager. It's going to allow us to learn commands, translate them into codes that Home Assistant will understand. And we're going to set them as switches later on. Uh, there's a Windows version of this, but it's going to cap you out at the RM3. Personally, I'm running an RM4 Pro. And I'm sure many of you who found this video are running an RM4. So... Go ahead and you don't even have to go here. I'm going to get this all done for you. But this is the GitHub for the Broadlink Manager. They're going to want you to do Docker Compose. And if you guys have watched my previous video on how to set up Plex in a Docker container, you're going to know how to run Docker. If you don't, go ahead and take a quick look at that because we're just going to set up another container here. And I'm actually using the same virtual machine to run that. Uh, without further ado, Here's the um, translated version of the Docker Compose setup. We're just putting in a straight up Docker run. I'm gonna put this in the description. You can just copy and paste. I'm gonna go ahead and pop up my PuTTY session for my Linux machine. You're gonna wanna paste the command in there. And once that's all good to go, just do sudo docker start broad link manager and it's going to start then go ahead and go to the machine's ip on port 7020 and you will receive this screen here if everything went according to plan all right now go ahead and pop back in your home assistant setup real quick if you've got the file editor installed already fantastic if you don't that's fine go to your supervisor tab go to the add-on store Get your file editor. Go ahead and, you know, I like to show it in the sidebar so I can just click into it over here. All right, once you're in your file editor, go ahead and pop up your configuration.yaml if it isn't already. And just drop this in there. Switch, include switch.yaml. And then save it. And then what are we going to do? We're going to go ahead and create a file which will come in handy later called switch.yaml all right now the fun stuff go on back to your broadlink manager again it's the ip of your machine port 7020 go to your device actions learn infrared code i have got my tcl remote and I'm going to point it at my Broadlink RM4 and I'm going to hit the power button. And just like that, 
we have been populated with the command. Go ahead and copy that, close, and we're gonna go back over to Home Assistant. All right, so go back into your Home Assistant setup, open up your file editor, and go to your switch.yaml file that we created earlier. If you already had one, that's fine too. Just add this to it. You're gonna have dash, space, platform, broad link. You're gonna have two spaces, host, the IP, two spaces, Mac, the Mac address, which you should be able to find on your router gateway or the app, two spaces, switches, four spaces, and this is what you're gonna call the specific command you're gonna execute. I'm controlling my TCL TV. We're doing the power, so I called it TCL power. Now you're gonna do a friendly name, which is what's gonna pop up when you search for the switch. <clears throat> we name this TV power. You're gonna put, and these each have six spaces. You're gonna put command on, single quotation mark, and paste the code you just got. Command off, single quotation mark, and paste the command we just copied. Now go ahead and save that. Go to configuration, server controls, restart. All right, now you can go into uh, developer tools and confirm that your switch is here. There's that TV power switch. I'm gonna go ahead and before we even bother testing this thing, we're gonna go ahead and set up our remote. I'm gonna do a button. And because we did the on and off, it's a toggle. So when you hit this, it's gonna be a toggle switch. When it's on, it's on. When it's off, it's off. Simple. On, off. So that's about it for setting up IR commands from the uh, RM4. Nice and simple. There's a lot more to get into here. We have RF commands. We have UI customizations to make this more remote-like. But I think this is a good spot to get us started. And it goes well with the uh, theme of videos I've been releasing here. You should have a pretty nifty entertainment setup at this point. Continue to like, continue to subscribe. I appreciate you all and stay tuned for more goodies.